the stock Traxxas servo with its plastic gears is rather weak in comparison with other solutions out there, and considering we now have a strong STRC aluminum bell crank, it will no doubt eat up the stock servo in no time. Enter our new solution, the Savox SW1211SG. Being one of the best Savox servos out there for the money, this should make the steering system a lot faster and more precise than the stock Traxxas unit. Having metal gears and a fully waterproof design is a huge bonus too. Packaged in a neat plastic box alongside some screws and other mounting hardware should you need them, the servo itself looks and feels premium. Weighing in at 71 grams with a metal and plastic construction, on one side is the 7 inch connection cable which is sealed in rubber as it enters the side of the servo, making this a truly water resistant design. With a cool blue finish and some branding on clear display, on the bottom we find various screws for gaining access to the internals, along with two screws up top for access to the metal gears located within. Although rather than admire its exterior, let's get this thing installed. As always we begin by removing the vehicle's body, after which we need to remove the front assembly. And as we've done several times already with the stock bulkhead, remove the two screws up top, two on either side of the chassis, and the screw holding the linkage arm to the bell cranks, freeing the front assembly. Next you'll want to remove the linkage arm from the servo itself. If like me you have the RPM bulkhead, you'll need to remove the same four screws up top, which releases the front assembly, but you'll also need to then remove the steering linkage arm, which is slightly more fiddly, but nothing too taxing. Either way, with the front assembly out of the way, we have clear access to the servo itself, complete with its stock servo horn. This can be easily removed by releasing the four screws holding it to the chassis. Once free, we need to disconnect it from the receiver, which is protected within this plastic box, so go ahead and remove the two screws holding the cable plate in place, and then the two screws to remove the top cover revealing the receiver within. Finally, we can disconnect the stock servo and remove it from the vehicle altogether. And installing the new servo is a matter of reversing the process, so install it into the chassis by reusing the screws previously removed, plug it into the receiver box, after which the top cover can be reattached followed by the lower plate, making sure not to pinch or trap any cables anywhere other than between the two foam pieces. With the servo installed, it's a good idea to now power up the controller, ensuring the trim knob is set to zero, along with the vehicle. And test the servo by rotating your control wheel to each side, which should result in the servo turning from side to side. Perfect. And now we know the servo is in its centre position, go ahead and install the servo horn. Rather than reuse the original, I'll be installing the Team Losi aluminum servo horn, making sure there are no weak links throughout the entire steering system. This is attached using the same screw removed from the stock setup. Note that it isn't attached completely vertically, rather one click to the right. Once in place, we reverse the process to reinstall the front assembly. Before doing so, manually turn the wheels to ensure they are turning freely and smoothly, and then reinstall the front assembly depending upon whether you have the stock or RPM bulkhead installed. And that's pretty much it. Servo installed. Now we can power up the controller and the vehicle, and by rotating the controller wheel, the servo should be steering the front wheels side to side. Already, I can tell it's a lot faster and more powerful than the stock servo. Nevertheless, the wheels should be fairly straight as they are, but may need some slight trim adjustment to get them dead centre, which can be done with the trim knob on the transmitter itself. Bear in mind, if you have the TSM system, you'll need to switch this off first by rotating the TSM knob counterclockwise all the way. Servo installation complete. You should now be okay to run the vehicle with its new steering system, although it's a good idea to refine your steering by adjusting and setting the endpoints. In other words, the amount the servo turns the front wheels to either side. Join me in the next slash video where we'll go through the entire servo endpoint setting process.